family of a Dauphin County prison inmate who died after a struggle with prison guards is raising more questions. The man's family not immediately notified of the incident. Fox 43's Josie Carbonari has the latest details on the case. Tyreek Riley's family tells me the surveillance video that they were shown in comparison to the photos they received from the coroner's office tells a different story. We want to warn you, some of the images that you're about to see may be disturbing. What happened to him? That's the question the family of 21-year-old Tyreek Riley has had for the last month and a half as they continue fighting for answers. When Tyreek was taken into custody, he had no injuries. On June 26th, Riley was arrested for aggravated assault and simple assault. Five days later, under Dauphin County prison supervision, he died. His family not immediately notified. I never felt so helpless as I did staring at my son. In the latest development in the investigation, Dauphin County's District Attorney Fran Chardo allowing the Rileys and their attorneys to view three hours of surveillance video from the day medical units were called in for Riley. We couldn't even see from the camera angles we have, we couldn't even really see faces. Uh, we really could just see the backs of individuals. There was a number of individuals that uh, I think it was maybe five or six officers who uh, ultimately took Tyreek out of that cell and put him in the chair. Our request for those videos denied due to the ongoing investigation. The videos are raising more questions for Riley's family. Their attorney says medical records and disturbing images they obtained from the Dauphin County coroner's office reveal a different story. The injuries and the healing wounds that Tyreek had suggest that maybe he was injured before then. The photos showing extensive bruising and wounds throughout Riley's body. Serious, serious injuries that could not have just come from the explanation that we've gotten so far, which is he somehow fell, un fell unconscious and then we had to take him to the hospital. The family left wondering. Who hurt Tyree? Who caused the cuts and bruises? and internal damage. Now, District Attorney Fran Chardo tells me he is continuing to work alongside the Riley family to help them get some answers. The coroner's report should be released in the coming days. Reporting in Swatera Township, Dauphin County,